Welcome to Steph Reacts. We are going to react to Roast this episode 6. Do you know your daily fact of the day? Your daily fact says There are parts of Africa in all four hemispheres. I did not know that, but now you do. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. This will be an awesome episode once again. Wonder. Yeah, and we back again, boy. I got my hat like flame for flame. And welcome to another episode of Roast This, the community podcast, where we talk about everything current in the culture, and we just talk about the culture. I'm your host, Brandon Lewis. I'm never alone. I'm always with my dogs. I'm always with my brethren. All the way from Atlanta, Georgia, A Town, Pizza A Town. Down, he always blessed this. Oh, y'all give it up for Ronnie Jordan. Bam, 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 bam. How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing, man? Yeah, we here, we here, we here. Shout out to the Kings in here, man. Shout out to the Black Kings in here, man. How y'all yeah, doing? Everybody, this thing, man. Up, Next dog? up on the list with me and my squadron, all the way from Sacramento, Swagamento, California. Y'all give it up. For dope boy. What up, man? Uh, Dose to Domus in this because I'm a prophet of the game. What it wait, do? Wait, can I get you one? Give me that new nickname alert. Dobie McGuire. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I'm rocking with that. Dobie yeah, McGuire. Show me the money. money. That is hard. Put a lot like of thought that. into that, man. I told you I was going to grab it one. All right, That's come on. Fire. I like that. Yeah. And last but not least, Y'all know who it is, man. My dog out of Detroit. What they say, Didi. My nigga, <laughs> a.k.a. the king of roast. I give him the king of roast, man. The unstoppable Mr. HBO, Mr. Stars, Mr. Call of goddamn cable TV, Chris C.P. Powell. Come on now. Hey, what's, up, y'all? what's going on? What's going on? Hey, man. Hey, I'm just happy to be here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know. Another blessed day, another day to roast, talk shit about things. And things. Things. talk things. shit about things. So, so. Did you turn and your headset down with uh when he introduced everybody? <laughs> Who me? Oh. I was oh, screaming, bro. When Brandon oh, yeah. came on, I had to take my earbud out. Like yeah, 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 I, I was screaming. Oh, yeah. Master Flex. Can't do headphones. It's so much wind <laughs> coming out that nigga mouth. Nigga mouth got an alley. It's an alley back there in the back. Sounded <laughs> like you opened the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, to blow your uh, car door closed. You hey, y'all, a little draft coming out. It's like Chicago in here. <laughs> hey, hey, before we get started, I need some help, y'all. I'm I'm in a so, crisis. First of oh, all, no. hey, hold on. Is that a cup or is that a, a lid and a straw inside of the bucket that they gave you the chicken? In? <laughs> I thought, I, 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 I thought that was KFC cup. Are you KFC VIP? Listen, let me tell you what happened in the same calendar day today. I ate KFC and Popeyes in the same wow. day. Wow, I thought. Are you not sleepy? Oh, yeah, I'm not sleepy. I did that three times this week, and it just so it happened to be me. You, you don't want like, your foot. You don't want I your feel foot. I like I'm stuck at a cheat day. You don't, don't want your foot. Why I would do this? I had Dope the shrimp. Man. I got the shrimp from Popeyes, and then the chicken from KFC. It, it looked like you That's had a straw in a story. Hold on. That's respectable. Now that is. Listen, man. I'm gonna tell you what. How far is the Popeyes away from the uh, the 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 KFC? Less than a mile. Oh, okay. Less, but but exactly. did you drive or did you walk? I drove. Okay. Hey, little calories, pressing the brake, pressing the gas. You, you turn it. You that's, know. That's all these muscles right here. That's thighs. Uh-huh. That's some big ass thighs, man. Yeah, then, little you know, then I was eating it. So yeah, man, yeah. And hey, I man, hey. yeah. and really, all you did was go get some sides. You know, what I'm saying shrimp yeah. is like a side to the chicken. Yes. It's like so a side. I, Cause I don't like the sides at KFC. I like the fries. You over got to be a little bitty nigga to have shrimp as your main meat. Shrimp go on something. 
<laughs> shrimp go on something. Shrimp go on a steak. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. I was, I was happy. It was, I was happy it was KFC. I thought you had a straw in a popcorn bucket. I said, nigga, this nigga here got is drinking popcorn. God damn. And last but not least, let's pay some more bills. Make sure you click the star to follow and watch all up and coming shows right here on All Def Digital slash Caffeine. Share this live with a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are now live each and every Tuesday. And Roast Me Season 5. That's right. Season 5 is back every Wednesday. That's right. Roast Me Season 5. The Classroom Edition is back every Wednesday, live right here on Caffeine. So make sure you tune in every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. My bad, I fumbled on that. But every Wednesday. And make sure you follow each and every individual on this show right now. Comedian CP, at Big Bang Lewis, at Comedian Ronnie Jordan, and at I Am Dope Boy. Make sure you follow us right now on Caffeine so you can keep up to date on everything we do because we just the cool kids. Yeah, you Yo. need to be a DJ, bro. You should be a DJ right. in the morning, yeah, bro. Just, just, just off that hat alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you, 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 you in it all, the G. You know what I'm saying? You in it all. Hey, his name is BQ. BQ. Nigga, BQ, hey. bro. Hey, yo, yo. What about donation? Oh, I like that. Oh, that's simple. Oh. That's simple and clever, though. It yeah. is. Yeah. The, like big, the big Dobowski. Like the big, big Dobowski. Not bad. Not bad. What about that nigga credit? That seems weak as hell. After, <laughs> after what I said, you know what I'm saying? It's like, right, Obama. What about Obama? Because I'm. What, what about what about Dunkin' Donuts? Huh? Huh? No. Now, now, what was mine? Now, what was mine? Yeah, yours is Dunkin' Donuts. Big Dubowski. <laughs> Dubowski. I don't know what that is. Dunkin' Dough. I mean, Dun Dunkin' Dough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It got everything in there. It got the D's. It got the donut. Oh. <laughs> Doey, Doey Kardashian. Ooh. <laughs> so, keep going. Doey Kardashian. Do Rogan. Do Rogan. Do Rogan. Do Rogan. Oh, I like Do Rogan. That's actually kind of sweet. Do Rogan is hard. Yeah, Do Rogan. What about just Do? Because, because you know what I'm saying, or like Doey. Just Doey. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. Donut. What, what, what about? Hey, what, hey, hey, no, we, got, hey, we got in the chat. Sloppy dough, not bad, not bad. Well, hey, sloppy dough, I like that. Sloppy dough, Chuck. Or GI Joe. GI Joe. Hold on, I got him. I'm putting him on the chat. Shout out to Big Val in the chat. Let me go ahead and work this out. Do, Doey but, Calloway. <laughs> that's uh, the Nick Moon. The new Nick Moon. What about? Doe. What about? What about? Uh, no man, that's my plate. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! Wow, Do Lewis, CP, what Do is, what is, CP, what is what is the end game results you're looking for with these braids? I need to know. I don't know, man. You know what's crazy is that I want to lock them up, but you know I might play a role where I need my shit to be an afro or braids, whatever. I just so I start once you this. lock them, you can't unlock them to do something else. No, I think you got to cut them off once you lock them. You know, why can't you unlock them? You said what? Why can't you unlock them? Because they're locked. Cause they're locked. They don't give you a key. The same. No, nigga, shut up. <laughs> nigga, listen, 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 listen. Oh. Nigga, I will Uber an arrow over to you just, just to shoot you. I will, I will Uber an arrow. <laughs> They can't, they can't unlock. <laughs> they can't unlock. And the nigga had me answering him like, no, no boy. You know what I'm <laughs> What's up, man? You right on at the bullshit. God damn it. What's up? Mother hey, no boy, hold up your tattoos. Oh, the I bigger you me. get, the more space you got. That used to be a whole sleeve. That shit coming apart. Whole, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I covered up, I covered up the, the other one. So I still got my all depth. I still got my wilding out. Oh, what the hell was oh, boy. I'm my daughter. Okay. You know, I'm out here. I want to get a neck tattoo, but I don't know what I want to get. The other one, the other one was the crust of his favorite slice of pizza ever that he remembered from like 1994. <laughs> <laughs> you can picture that crust. Like, it, it's never going to be this good. It's like, you know what I'm it's like what? <laughs> All right, segue. Yeah. Speaking segue. of night, speaking of 94. All right, knee along. Yes, sir. Knee along. Neil Long yeah, opens up yeah, about yeah. the pressure. Of Before we get into the topic, we can agree that Neil Long is fine. 
she is really fine even back then even now wow like that's my dream right there to have a dark skinned woman that could pull off the short hair and long hair but really she looks good with the short hair though man mm. 25 being called ageless and said i'm proud to be 51 and eventually i'm going to age in a way where it's obvious and i want it to happen beautifully and gracefully i think she's already accomplishing that i don't i don't she won she i think won, she bro. yeah i think she's already doing that she yeah, won for what we yeah. seen. She won for what we see. She might be in the room like, ah, ah, put my leg down. Shit. <laughs> yeah. We don't know. But I wouldn't won. want her right now. I wouldn't want her at my age. But if I was her age, that's a that's a dawn. She's still a what dawn. You, mean, you like, wouldn't want her right now. She's so fine as her right, right now. now. She, exactly. She's so beautiful. So desperate wait, wait, why not? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Right. It's younger women. It's okay for him it's to say that. Women, bro. Bro. Yeah, she bad, though. Yeah, she no bad. came in with that. Where my hug got energy. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, Billy. <laughs> what it do? Billy. Wait, what it do? Billy. Wait, bro. Oh, I, I, I thought you were trying to talk about my ass. I seen Neil Long. I thought they were talking about my hair and shit again. I was like, man, y'all ain't shit, man. Uh, hey, wow. this nigga see me oh, alone and said, that me? You. Nigga, that's a damn shame. We, 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 we ain't talking about you, but we gonna introduce you, man. Coming into the what? podcast, man, from Houston, Texas, man. Y'all give it up for Billy Sorrell, a.k.a. Billo. Hey, we up Hello. in this goddamn thing. Hey, Doughboy up in here. Yeah. What's the deal? Hey. CP! Oh, hey. shit. What's up, Fi? Man, Fi, what's good with you, man? Why you got that uh domestic uh abuse turtleneck on? <laughs> got that hey. on? I got them cousins you can't stay, nigga. Get over here. You don't stop putting the hands on me, Your Honor. This is the last time I'm dealing with this. I will not be abused again. Ronnie Jordan, what's, what's going on? on? Fresh off a of stomach staple. How you feeling? <laughs> you look like the villain in the gospel stage play. Yeah, you and Doughboy look like them twins that were spent in uh, Nutty Professor. Y'all just done blew all the way up, huh? Hey, Billy, you look like Nino right before he stabbed the nigga in the hand. Remember, did he stab uh, him in the head? And uh, the wow. That's sweet, though, man. Shut up. That's sweet. <laughs> Fuck it up. <laughs> nigga, you caught a nigga Nino Brown in the rose? That's probably right. too many yeah. syllables in that motherfucker. Why would you Throw your like tattoos that? away. God damn it. Oh, man. <laughs> My bad. Hey, real quick, real quick, let me pay some more bills, man. Hey, right now, if you're watching this, right now, if you're watching this stream, we're about to cut it on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. So if you're watching this stream or you're watching this podcast from YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, right now we are going to cut it. So go ahead and head over to your app store or head over to your caffeine account and continue to watch us live. That's right. We are cutting the YouTube, Facebook, Instagram stream. So right now, get over to Caffeine on your app or go to the app store, download Caffeine, make a profile. It's absolutely free. Follow hey, all them. Follow every, yo. Bilo, before you get out of here, let, make, no, 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 you good. I would like to make sure to let them, even them on YouTube and everyone on know it, uh, Roast Beast every other, for every other Wednesday. Yeah, go ahead and let them know that. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. And, and, uh, and like Dean just said, Every other Wednesday is roast me. My bad on the earlier technicality. I thought it was every Wednesday, but we're going live every other Wednesday. So this every Wednesday, day. tomorrow is live, and then the following Wednesday we will not be, but then the following Wednesday will be. So y'all get it. Every hey, hey, can I tell you something, bro? Hey, man. Man, you would be a good ass waiter. Can't y'all hear this nigga just reading off the special? Yes. But yeah, we got also we got a uh, fat cap <laughs> with this. Salad with this, but we also do the macaroni and cheese. Now, if you want the ribs, you can get the ribs. You can also get the chicken. Chicken is really good, but the chicken come off the grill. We also fry the chicken too. But also, we, you know, we got a new thing where we'll be fried and barbecue ribs. It's really good. You can try it out right now. I chef do. We also bring you a sample. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. What about the house lemonade? Oh, the house lemonade is very good. We do it every morning. Come in here, 85, 95 lemons. Squeeze it up, stick it in there. Really, really good. Actually, my grandma got to come over there right now. She can eat it right now. My name is B. Lewis. I'll be anything you need. You let me know. We also got chicken and waffles. All right, I'm a This is why CP. Is one of the best for a comedian to be able to make jokes on the spot. That is a real talent, and CP is really one of them to do that. <laughs> oh, come over here, the fish face ass. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here like I want to. I want the fried ribs. Yeah, yeah, nigga. It's not <laughs> they fried the ribs. God damn. Hey man, they frying everything else. I don't see why you couldn't dip a rib in some batter like like a corn dog. 
Fry that bitch. It's like Ray. Yeah. You know what I'm it's like Ray. Yeah. Hey. That nigga do yeah, yeah. look like all he do is do unhealthy good shit. That nigga do hey, hey, how much is for the Brussels sprouts stuffed with bacon? Let me get them thrown in <laughs> <laughs> Can you post some sweet baby rays on it? Baby, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, walk us through that big ass chain you got on. Uh, Billy, tell us about it. What's the story behind it? Which one you well, got first, on? First, if you must know, let me tell you what this is only given out every every 12 years. To the nigga who does the most dope in the VIP room. And it is me. Oh, okay. I, I beat out two old pimps for this. It's a picture of my mama on here. So, oh, that's yeah, that's, that's my mama. That's Somebody, cool. fuck y'all in the comments. Nigga talking about that nigga got dope right That's my daddy, motherfucker. It's the ashes. That's your oh, okay. daddy right now? Right. Yeah. That's that's wearing his parents. That's what's I, what's I, I be smashing my girl. My daddy and my mama be hitting him in the face. That shit be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. You took a dark turn for the worst. God damn it, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Belly is so. Uh, <laughs> 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 what was that? Speaking of parents. Speaking of parents, hold on, CP. Do you, you want to jump another talk? Because I mean, you segue is hit. I, I was about to tell Billy to talk about his music real quick because I heard he okay. got some songs. Okay, that okay came yeah. Billy, out. I, mean, I, mean, I, got, I got, I got, I got some music. Hey, let's, let's, hey, hey, let's keep that when we're about to get canceled. <laughs> 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 All right, man. What's the first topic, dog? All right. <laughs> you warm now. Shit. Speaking of parents, uh, Push the T talks about a ch- uh, his fatherhood made him squash beef with Drake. Did y'all see this? No. Oh, no, I did not. All right. Let's watch. Yeah. And even in an interview, he was like, that's water from the bridge. You're not even like really. Yeah. The public bitch can give me. But I think right. that he's seeing the error in his ways. Yeah, but nigga, uh, nigga that's bullshit. Nah, that's on, so so uh, let, let, let's go around the room since Billu Billu's bitch right now. Billy, go ahead. You go first, and we'll go around. I mean, let's, let's, let's talk about a couple things. Let me give you three reasons why Pusha T trying to end the beat. First of all, his son was definitely going to ask for a selfie with Drake, and he was going to call his daddy a bitch-ass nigga for having that beef with him because Drake is going to go down as one of the goddamn greats, and Pusha T's legacy is cool. But nigga, you want to be the nigga that's beefing with Drake Daddy? You gotta think about how much fun Drake's son about to have when he grow up. All the bitches gonna be at Drake's son party when that nigga get in junior high, high school. Ain't nobody gonna be hanging with yay ass. This nigga is on the wrong side of history. And you fried Drake's son mama. Yes, nigga. Retribution is coming back on your baby mama now. Okay. Hard reasons why the nigga did Hey man, calm C- your ass down. CP go. <laughs> go that shit like a wrestler. <laughs> Coming for you. I think it's just like it's just it's like it's that just showed a lot of audacity. And that's just my opinion. I'm like, God damn, you didn't you came out, you you announced this man's son before he got a chance to announce it. Crazy. Uh-huh. Then you then you then you made a song with his son's name as the title, with his father in blackface as the art. Yeah, the album cover or the single cover, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, then, yeah. Then you go and have a son and be like, "Oh, I get why you're not you're not supposed to play with nobody kids now. You you be loving these, like nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> you, be <loving> <laughs> you be you be loving these. <laughs> you be loving these. <laughs> like nah, fam. I mean, that's just that's just me though. I'm not I'm not pushing. I'm not Drake. I don't know what the fuck going on, but it's like right. if it were me. Yep, I, man, and 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 I was as lyrically inclined as Drake. Man, I I released a song about his son so crazy that it'd be the jam. People would be skating to at night. I think of you, put your teeth on. I will, you know, what I'm <laughs> dog ass hook. You know, what I'm saying it'd be an anthem. You know, you yep. don't want that, man. Drake should have finished him off, man. I don't like how he tapped that on some uh, on some like, oh, this shit was too much. Hold on, let me, Drake. Let me- Oh, let, 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 let B Lou go ahead and get, get your talk, B Lou, then we'll go to you right they after. They sent go. Drake's go. address out. Yeah, but fuck that. Drake should have finished him because that shit would have heightened his career even more. We were fat. Huh? <laughs> hey, say B Lou. I smell pussy. I smell pussy. We're going to get some fucking ass. <laughs> oh, um, go ahead, Doug. Go ahead, Doug. Go ahead, Doug. Yeah, I think I, uh, let, let Doug go and then you right after that, Ron. Okay. Yeah. My biggest thing is this I couldn't disagree with you guys anymore. 
I think that this is great for the evolution of a black man. Like Drake never responded to that because he said it was going to go up to a level. It probably would have incited violence. So I think when you're in the middle of a battle, niggas say anything. Niggas forget that Jay-Z was talking crazy about Nas's baby mom. And when you're in the heat of a battle, you can say some crazy shit. I think this is a man maturing and realizing like, oh, I have a child. I see how I protect my son. I was in the wrong. I'm not going to pursue that. And I think it's great to see men evolve in front of our eyes. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> One question, though, boy. Uh, do you have a great white shark teeth? Shut your ass up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, go ahead. I think this is uh, old news, and we knew that Drake wasn't nothing to play with when Kanye West had to stand next to Jay Prince and read a note. <laughs> um, I'm doing a show with Drake tomorrow. Keep <laughs> reading, reading motherfucker. And um, the day before, he said, I'm a billionaire. I do what I want to. That nigga was standing next to Jay Prince, balled up. Like, I'm so sorry. I think that shit been over, dog. And uh, <laughs> I, I, you do have some audacity to say that shit after, nigga. You done did all this. You did a lot. Yeah, you did. You did. Lot. You did. You did a lot. Because they was trying to squash it at every turn, and he kept going. Ugh. But but it's is, in I, the, in a stripper. Yeah. Yeah, I like Pusha T. I like I like drug dealer cocaine raps myself, but he just this the same nigga who put Whitney Houston's tub she died in as an album cover. So this is par for Pusha T. That's, King, that's King Push. King Apparently. Push gonna really push the boundaries and get you upset about something. You're gonna either fall one way or the other way with him. So I gotta be honest, fellas. I would have never thought we would have two uh Pusha T uh yeah. um Thing to talk about, topics to talk about. We talked about the Arby's like three weeks ago, and now we got this one. Yeah, I would have right. never thought. I, I would have never push. thought. He has nothing to push. I mean, he's doing something right. He's keeping his name, yeah, in, you know what I mean? Man, like, yeah, it's definitely not like he's mentioning more relevant brands and people, and that's why he's in the media. It's definitely, definitely not, not that. that. Of course. Of course. <laughs> CP? I, I want to hear this. I want to hear this Jay Z record. I, I want to hear this Jay Z record, though. You ever heard it? That's shit jamming. That shit jamming. That's so hard. Yeah. Yeah, Pharrell okay. on the hook. It's the, the Pharrell hook is stupid. Oh, okay. they back together. Oh, shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's an expensive song. Who, who, who? Pusha and Pharrell? It's Pusha, Pharrell, and Jay Z. Neck and wrist. Is out right now? Yeah, Play that motherfucker. Last week. I, I'll, get it, I'll get it set up next time. I gotta really get that, that set up. If they do play any music, I will have to pause it due to copyright infringement. So be, be aware. It's a grown nigga bop. You had to have a oh, Get me out. Get me out. We're going to get him in there. If you need to do it. Oh, yeah. There we go. No, this oh. is it. But this, this, this is something else that we just talk about music. So I thought I'd just throw this on the screen real quick and see which one y'all want to answer. I don't think all y'all got to answer. Maybe it's all y'all answer. Maybe one or two. Favorite rapper of all time. Of all time. Oh, man. This is really, really hard. But of all time, you gotta give it to. I have to give it to um, Biggie. To this day, he still have some songs that really, 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 really hit. The flow and everything is really good. Rap, I just like. Uh, uh, I would have to say. Rap I don't listen to, I wouldn't say just like, but I don't listen to. It would have to be um Takashi six six nine. Rapper that grew on me. Believe it or not, I did not like Young Thug when he first came mainstream. I was against the mumble rap, but after a while it grew on me and Young Thug to me is one of the the best rappers out there, especially in Atlanta. The most underrated rapper would have to be most underrated rapper. I would have to say um I don't know right now. I don't know as of now. But the GOAT would have to be between Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole. You could put Drake in, Drake in that category too. Yeah, but the most underrated. 
It'd have to be Big Sean. I would I would have to put Big Sean in that category. You know? Big Sean or Tiger. But Tiger should be for the most he should be in the category where most improved because it was a time when his mu music wasn't really selling like that. But he really surfaced again, and I really think he should be on the list as well for the most underrated Tiger and Big Sean. But yeah, Fav favorite rapper of all time, Biggie. Rap I dislike, I'm not sure. I don't think I said anybody. Rapper that grew up me, Young Thug. Most overrated rapper. Who I said, but uh, anyway. We get the point though, we get the point. We have the point. Let's go. Two of them? You know what I mean? Favorite yeah. rapper of all time, rapper I dislike, rapper that grew on me, most overrated rapper, most underrated rapper. The I can tell you my my most overrated rapper, but I think it's gonna make some people mad. All I right, man, it. let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's 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 go one at a time and then start with uh go ahead, Dean, shoot him out. Who start with it? All right, I mean dope, but dope apparently got one. Dope, go ahead. All right. <laughs> This is this is a very unpopular opinion, but most uh, most overrated rapper to me is Pop. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Okay. I, I just, hey, I just can we go and close this screen out now? We can get we, we can get double out of here. You don't need it. From a rapper, wow. from, from a rapper wow. standpoint, who better rapper, than Pop? But wow. I feel like you know, like, is he good at displaying emotion? I do feel like that. But okay. as far as like lyrical and just being a dope what? MC, Boy, I don't what? think that he's that. I feel like. Hmm. Nah, he's not. He's not in my top five. Okay, that's crazy. Right. That's crazy. I mean, like, you know, I guess we're going no judgments on for this one. CP, go ahead. <laughs> uh, just answer one of them. It's an answer one of them. What do you think um, you would want to answer? I think the most underrated rapper is mm -hmm. probably Kodak Black. Okay, okay. okay. Kodak's pretty I good. Like, I think. I think a combination of like he's he he has like a quick wit, yeah. and then. He like he knows how to harmonize, and the nigga be saying some shit, and it's like, you know, sometimes you know, a lot of times we be judging the vessel instead of judging the message, and, and, and niggas be missing it. Kodak be saying some shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I, I think that he's he's very underrated. Um, yeah, a lot of his stuff off off the off the uh, actual music has kind of pushed him back because no, honestly, Kodak was that guy for a while though, so he got in all that trouble. Before then, he was he was on, he was on. Uh, Billy. Favorite rapper of all time. Let's go. And um, you know, there was some runner ups for this one for me. Like uh a young big crit. Okay. Uh I fuck with him hard just for he putting his soul in it. <sighs> Second favorite runner up rapper of all time, zero. But zero. I gotta give it to my favorite rapper of all time, P. I am P C. My okay. bitch a choose it lover. Never fuck without a rubber. Like it on the tub. Never on top of the. Hey man, listen, listen, bro. His swag, his style, his man, his presence on the record. You can play Big Pimpin' all you want to, but play Big Pimpin' and don't play Pimp C part. Play sipping on some scissor and don't play Pimp C part, nigga. You cannot like international. Uh uh. Players anthem and don't play Pimp C part. Yeah, hey, brother, it's, hard. it's pretty much free stacks and right after Pimp C. Like it, you have to play That's both. Right, you got to play back to back. You got to play back to back. Stacks, but yeah, it's shit he'll never say. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But Billy, you do understand that, and this is something that I want Doughboy to hear. This is this is what you got to understand about rap. It's like basketball, right? It's like Pimp C is his goat. We all can understand that Pimp C is not as lyrically inclined as Three Stacks. Yeah, right. Pimp C could get on a track with Three Stacks and make a more memorable, and which is very hard to do. But I mean, he held his own on some shit where it's like lyrically, if you put them niggas side by side lyrically, you would think that he wouldn't. But some right. niggas have that sauce on the track, or some niggas is speaking from a place where you know it's real and it makes sense, like a Kodak, like a Pop, yeah, like like, like a Nip. It right. was cold because it was cohesive and it was real. Yeah. And Nip shit, you, know, you have you have a listen to like blue laces, how oh, that yeah. nigga is is detailing. You can see the shit that he was saying. Right. You could literally yeah. see it. You could see it. 
You know what I'm saying? Most but they know that. Yeah, but it ain't about rather than that, 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 that. It ain't Eminem, dog. But it's just like some niggas hoop like this. Some niggas got the hezzies. Some niggas are sitting back shooting three. Some niggas are sitting in that corner and they're the best that ever did it. I get yeah. that, and that makes it. And I think you. I think what you, what I'm hearing from what you're saying is it just. <laughs> oh my goodness! Somebody in the comments <laughs> say Billy the. <laughs> say Billy the throat goat. Oh my god. <laughs> really depends on the impact these people have had like you know you know yeah. different mcs had different impact like even like with a pimp c or a Pac, or you know different people so i can see it that and way. it's and it depends on where you grew up at too and what you because yeah, right. right. I, I grew i grew up in atlanta in the 80s in the 90s drug cocaine era crack shit going on and Goody Mob and Outkast came through like a breath of fresh air, and that shit kind of, you know, had, it was it was some niggas that wasn't on the gangster shit, but they hit you in your face. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I kind of like. I still I I ain't met an Andre 3000 verse. I ain't like you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't nah, three stacks my favorite rapper of all times, but like this nigga still slides on the song right now today. That's and real. Just, hey, Ronnie, walk around with a goddamn flute. Hey, Ronnie, <laughs> how did it feel? How did it feel as a as a as a fat little thirteen year old listening to CeeLo for the first time? Big like, this fat, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, like oh, did you? CeeLo, hey CeeLo, hey CeeLo, CeeLo is C-Lo. in my top five. CeeLo is hey. one of my. I, I was gonna say he's one of the most underrated rappers of all times because oh, is he, he took oh, off C-Lo, singing. Nigga. CeeLo is top five. But see, rapper. I can't put him in my top five because he's so niche. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, but I fuck with CeeLo crazy. But like, go look up. Yeah, his, he underrated uh, his shit, his, bro. He got a song he called Robin Williams. Oh, what you talking about? Well, that nigga's critically acclaimed. He's critically acclaimed, hey. but he got he got a freestyle on the Wake Up Show with Sway from years ago. It's amazing. That shit went viral. Hey, man, viral, viral, viral. Viral. And then, and then I go. It's like, well, he got one of them, man. That nigga voice is crazy. Yeah, he but got that church in there. Like you know, like well, a, like a church granny. But he was early on that though. He was early. That's what all we see now: harmonizing the melodies and stuff like Goody Mob. Outcast, organized noise, like big boys in my top ten. Like, hey, like, somebody just brought yeah, up Devin the Dude. Devin the Dude is one of my yeah, favorite. Devin the Dude, Devin the Dude is awesome. Hey, I, listen, I, listen to him every hey, I feel like Devin the Dude. I feel like Devin the Dude is the most uh, overrated. Overrated? What? what? Overrated? What? 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 All right, B. Lewis. Man, Devin the Dude is. I was about to move on. Who your top rapper? Briar Patch. You see, you ain't know. Who your top rapper? B. Lewis. You you don't blow for real, do you? You blow for real? You don't smoke for real. Like that. I don't smoke. You don't even know how to roll weed. I don't smoke. I don't smoke where a nigga is like, ooh, ooh, let me put Devin. Yeah, you don't smoke. No no real smoke would ever say that. It it depends on how old you are, too. Devin the dude is like a. Nah. You have to catch him in the air. No, no. Devin the dude. Bruh, extreme. Bruh, classic, bro. Like, what a job this is. Nigga, right now. Right now, right yeah, now, right now, I'm, I'm feeling so good. And so I made a song about dying on a plane. Nobody tell me. Reefer and beer. Yeah. Funny as hell. Back he got comedy. Is trash. Hey, right, boy. Brandy. All right. Brandy. Come here, Houston. Then. Hey, look at your hat, man. Just don't even worry about it, man. <laughs> 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 Just because I got an opinion, don't worry about it. Listen, Devin Dude is not trash. Shout out to everybody in Houston. He's not trash. I'm not going to say that. I was just in the moment in my emotions, but he's overrated to me. I he's overrated. Right. Okay. Can I ask you one question? Yeah. Name me one person out of Atlanta on the Up and Smoke tour. I'll wait. Name a, name a who? One person for Kyrie on the Up and Smoke tour. I'll wait. I was about to say, what Atlanta, 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 Atlanta do this? Atlanta do this. Who on the night? All right, go ahead. What Atlanta do with that? Atlanta got nothing to do with that. Ain't nothing. Wow, that's your boy right there. That's your boy. That's where he is. Yeah, that's your Brandon boy. Brandon Lewis is from Cobb County. I'm from Cobb County. Yeah. Oh, that is, that oh, is he from, oh he, that's not Atlanta. Nope. Yeah. Uh, it's not. It's not. Okay. Uh, I'm ludicrous. That was Atlanta. Not Atlanta. Not Atlanta. It's, it's Atlanta. I'm just Cobb talking. Cobb County is not Atlanta. Okay. Speaking of Atlanta, it's, it's not Atlanta. It's all Atlanta. Fuck it. Speaking of Atlanta, hey, speaking of Atlanta, speaking of Atlanta, you know, Doug is trash. I highly disagree. Okay. Get Wow. Right now, Barter Six, nigga, come on, dog. Oh, Barter Six is on. Oh. Come on. All dog. right. That's speaking speaking of Atlanta and the Hawks, though, I wanted to go ahead and jump. We're going to switch topics real quick. 
And let's get into this real quick. Obviously, Frank Vogel out for the Lakers. The Lakers had a terrible season. Good for Frank. Go sit down, man. God damn, you oh, had a rough man, season. Fire he, that he, nigga, man. he didn't deserve to get fired, but it's like, bro, yeah, don't know what I say LeBron fan, I followed LeBron to the Lakers, and I could I could say that it wasn't Frank Vogel's fault, but we all know what happened with the record and everything. We didn't even make the playoff, not even the play-in, so somebody was bound to, to lose their job, and you know it's always the coach, so yeah. Can't really put it on Frank Vogel for that though. He's one uh, year removed from winning a championship, and he okay, almost made the playoffs. Yeah, that's a bubble championship, bro. LeBron was gonna get that regardless. Bubble, bro. They, they had to hoop. They couldn't even go nowhere. You saw some of the yeah, best games we ever saw in that bubble. Yeah, that shit was I ain't saying he can do. I'm saying that to say LeBron was gonna get that regardless, bro. Because he was bothered like. like Hey, you, hey, hey, you can scratch up the Cleveland, Cleveland loss. You can scratch Bro, Cleveland loss. Hold on. That was some of the most can, can we agree? That was some of the most pure. No fans. Nobody had it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Nobody was. It was like, no bro. It was like, bro, it was like watching your favorite athletes do an AAU tournament. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was so in that oh. uh, CP. I didn't see no coaching playing a factor in the bubble about how the games went. It was it was no real coaching strategy that I saw. Vogel didn't bring nothing to them coaching wise that put them hey. over the top. That was all you know what it looked look like. Remember, uh, remember, um, Gladiators. Remember you, on the weekend you watched Gladiators. American with, Gladiators. American Gladiators. <laughs> it looked like American Gladiators for NBA, bro. I liked it, man. Like the bubble hey, was dope, no, bro. Hey, bro. Them niggas had nigga them niggas was stress free. The problem with the Lakers was they let LeBron put the damn team together. He picked the wrong pieces, and they were just shit. That's not the coach's fault. Hey, you put the wrong outfit together every day, though, boy. I just want to let you know that. So shut your goddamn put the wrong shit together. <laughs> so, who so who y'all got? Who y'all got in this first in the play-in tournament? For, for, as you so see, Cleveland is out. So Cleveland Cleveland, is out. Cleveland's already gone. Cleveland's already done. They weren't going to be Brooklyn anymore. Yeah, they pretty much lost. They just got you know, you know, you know. Kyrie they they all right now. Kyrie. Yeah, yeah, they were not losing Kyrie, the first round. Kyrie and, and KD ain't gonna goddamn give up. So it's only years. one game, huh? It ain't, it's like, it ain't one game. game. It's one game. So they out. They don't go no vaccinations. That nigga Kyrie going out. Yeah. So look, hold on. So the Nets, so the Nets got the seven spot, seven seed. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. gonna yeah. play Boston on Sunday. Yep. Okay. Yep. Ooh. So they got to play who? Boston. 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 Boston played pretty well. Boston picked it up after Boston January. Boston looked nice, man. Boston looked nice. Hey, but a hot KD and Kyrie is uh nigga. That's that a hot MVP that summer. If only they had known that they would have gotten sweep by the Boston Celtics. If only they had known. Right. Ain't no defense though, bro. Them niggas can't stop nobody. Yeah. But Ooh. they, they. Your boy was right. Yeah, they did today. They won. Ooh. Nigga, Ooh. Brooklyn don't play no defense. They be giving up 130 every other night. How many points do you give up a night? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you start giving up, Nick. Bro, you don't get your goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, I mean, I, over speaking, speaking, speaking of Atlanta and Charlotte, though, I don't know. That Atlanta and Charlotte game going to be crazy. That game's going to be wild. Mello and, Mello and Trey, Ice Trey. Yeah, exactly. Ice Trey and Mello going to be crazy again. Yeah. It's like a good rivalry between them two. Yep. These niggas, do, they some hot-headed, don't want to lose. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's a cockiness for both of them. Both yeah. of them play with super cockiness. So it's going to be a really good game uh, tomorrow. I like the Pelicans. I like Pelicans over Spurs. Me too. And, uh, Me too. And I like uh, – Zion might come back. They, they they haven't left it out yet. Zion might come back. Hey. Might, hey. Paul Paul George, Zion might come back, bro. It's like, hey, Paul yeah. George, Paul Zion back. Feel like me. Paul, Paul Zion George's back. Feel exactly like me right now. Yeah. That nigga Paul. foot busted out of his shoes like Professor Clump in a basketball court. That shit was wild. Yeah. Zion you know? just need to lose the weight, to be honest. He's losing his draft stock in the NBA. Because if he don't work out, like, no other team will um, take him seriously. Like, if he lose this opportunity to show that he is a star, not even a superstar, a star, no team, no other team will want him like that. If he get traded, if if the Pelicans decides to trade him, he he will have to prove that he can stay healthy on the court and everything. But I don't know. We'll see. 
That's one of your biggest fears, ain't it? Like these Air Force Ones <laughs> is nice, but man, <laughs> if I bust out of these in the wrong time, <laughs> all over the floor. I can't, wear, I can't wear no ultra boots. I bust them bitches. <laughs> that's, a, that's a serious conversation I've had in the store. <laughs> Are you sure the uh, Air Max shops is really nah, real? Phone now that, that's a real thing. Phone posits ain't for fat niggas. I can't wear. Phone oh yeah, them them, them shit's like them shit's like a brick. They're, it's it's like a boa constrictor on your foot. It don't work. Yeah, uh, actually, no, 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 you no, need no, to wear phone posits when you eat. Keep that blood out your feet, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you got prescription yeah. phone posits, nigga. These are yeah, like, big ass Shrek feet, my, trying to fit some sweet ass <laughs> shoes. These my uh, restless leg syndrome phone posits. <laughs> Don't get him in my shoe. I gotta get in shape so I can wear a phone positive. That's my motivation. Hey, you ain't got no arch in your boy. Hey, boy, what's your motivation? So I can get my foot into a what's phone positive. <laughs> nigga, you got if you don't clip your toenail, can't That's nobody cool. put a phone positive on that bitch. Your big toe got a little inch on it, boy. You over hey, over. <laughs> have y'all ever went to go get a pair of Jordans and there was the last size, but there was like a half a size too small, and you got them anyway? Cause they had the flea market. I know how that is. You know them flea market days. You gotta make that sacrifice. I tore my foot up for some patent leather. But look, dope boy, what you do is you gotta take the insole out. Yep. Damn, I I never knew. I did on a pair of Jordan twos and some. Hey, they may not have them insoles at the flea market Jordans, dope boy. It might take the whole bottom of your goddamn Jordan off. So I'm telling you right now, don't be getting them Metro Mart ass J's. I'm telling you right now. You didn't rip the whole inside lining out the joint. You didn't took the jump man out the sole of the goddamn shoe. Hey, y'all didn't pick between the Hawks and uh, Hornets. Y'all didn't pick. Who won? You know we got the Hawks. They, they ain't played the yet. They haven't on, played right? yet. Why you see what the fuck going on? They play yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, no, they play tomorrow. They play tomorrow. They play tomorrow. Yo, uh, why hey. Why so, is but, Simmons playing, man? What's wrong with this nigga's back? Hey, his back. I, he lying. I don't, I don't understand. He's this lying, point. man. He's I don't understand. Yeah. And he's talking that money back from Philly. That being said, though, trying to get some money back. Bath and Robbins. I don't know that wasn't the greatest segue, but y'all hear about this? No, what? Uh, Bath and Robbins it. is rolling out new flavors and we're and we'll start selling bikes. That makes sense. Yeah, What's that it? makes sense. That's a good like strategy. It. It's a good strategy, actually. I'm not. Hell like, oh, yeah, selling bikes. Selling bikes. Hell now. yeah. Why? Why they would you buy a dollar ass huffy? So hold on. Are they selling it with the? <laughs> This may sound dumb, but are they selling it with the coon or you have to go inside and buy the bike? I don't know. I know it's crazy, but you never know. You never know. You never know. Bikes from Walmart. They're going to clean up. Why would an ice cream company sell bikes? That doesn't make any sense. Because well, the ice cream bell, bro. And remember, you ride your bike to the ice cream man. The ice cream man used to sell yeah. ice cream on the bike. Yeah, yeah. I never seen a nigga sell ice cream on yeah, the bike. Yeah, but he started getting high on his own supply. He couldn't get on that bike anymore. Nigga got bad as hell. Two of these Neapolitan sandwiches. Oh, now I'm hooked. Now hey. I am hooked, Jack. Oh, That's the ultimate boy. date flex. Hey, don't work. Hey, Joe Boy was so upset that they included exercise with a good activity to eat. <laughs> Why would they be selling bikes? I just don't understand. Just one thing doesn't have anything to do with the other. <laughs> you know, I, see Joe Boy down, I see Joe Boy downtown fucked up on them taco tacos all over again. <laughs> He's back on that shit. He's back on it. He had a Baskin Robbins bucket on. Do you get that? Do you get that? That, that nigga overdosed on Flintstone pops. He done overdosed on push ups. <laughs> do you get to have a hat with the bike? It looked like it. Anybody that sell the bike, they sell it. Yeah, you can wear the bucket hat with it. So it's now, like, so now, like, like, they're talking about, can you eat the bike? Can we eat the bike too? Is it edible? Oh, hold on. Y'all, y'all missed it. What's the new flavors, though? What's the new flavor? Oh, I, I, I didn't look up the flavors. I did not look up the flavors. Oh, okay. I looked it up. I looked it up. You're on a up. date with a girl, you got to buy a bitch a bike. In the goddamn basket, Robbins instead of scoop ice cream. Let me get two scoops. Okay. Of that. All right. Yeah. So, so, so speaking of double which, date, nigga. we got we got twenty minutes left, man, on this show. I today. Gonna be like, y'all got one with a love seat on it. I can't fuck with this regular shit. <laughs> hey, but if they rent bikes, that's something though. I think they should rent bikes, like rent oh, bikes. nigga, bikes so, what? Give me a scooter. A scooter, man, sit your big ass down. Talk about give you a scooter with them damn legs. <laughs> what it is, your girl, your girl gonna be like, you go back far, so nigga. Brought me a bill. Say you ain't buy a bitch a bike. You ain't buy a bitch a bike or nothing. 
So <laughs> you, you just don't give a fuck. So the fuck. <laughs> Only a milkshake. The fuck. <laughs> You know, I don't think a bitch gonna ask you for no fitness equipment. I, I think she just gonna want some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're getting into. Like, yeah, I can't even get a bike out this nigga. That she gonna look at you like, yeah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> he ain't no bike. Hey, man, these, hey, man, these niggas on Instagram ain't shit, bro. They they commenting to me on Instagram and we on caffeine. And nigga just wrote me talking about Billy be that niggas pump him on the bike. I said, bro, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you was reading your journal, nigga. <laughs> hey, Billy be riding his bike with no seat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ryan. Right. It's right. like Ryan. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. You niggas, man. You can't. You also can't escape this thing. T.I. Oh, my dog. Yeah, that's my dog, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, I, I, I would not be included in this uh stipulation of talking about tilt live on caffeine. I was there, man. The, bar- the Barclays Center. Said. The Barclays Center. Go ahead. The Barclays man, call Center. that nigga. I'm going to say this, bro. You got to show tonight. Why everybody mad at the nigga. Like, people, you know what? People want you to take your L's how they want you to take your L's. When a, nigga take it on the chin, when a nigga take it on the chin, smile, be like, all right, y'all got that one and, and and come back and do it again. It's like, you know, he don't, he doesn't displace the anger in him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so it's like, nigga, I don't know what niggas want niggas to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, nigga did his best and that's what it is. I was there. Right. And they, you were there. They, I was there. It started out cool and then they started giving it to him and he was like, he adjusted. But he stayed in there though. I was over there like, okay, stay in. He didn't, he didn't count, he didn't flinch, nothing. This nigga stayed in. It was like, I love this shit. Thank y'all, New York. Y'all, y'all made me who I am today. Like I I, I don't got booed. I ain't never got booed in New York. And then the nigga, um, he gave he gave Envy a little nod and went into a song and they was right back. And they was and I was like, that well, that's his good ultimate cheat code. Oh, wait, and, so he went into a song? Yeah, he got they stopped booing, dog. They started cheering. They didn't show wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. He, what song did he go into? Swagger like us. I- they Nigga, no, that's, <laughs> I didn't know that. They don't. They never gonna show the the whole shit. They never. I was Damn. right there. This nigga no, was like, "Oh, y'all." Know. He said, that's... "But the nigga said, oh, y'all gonna try to play me.'" And then he, the nigga nodded. That motherfucker played that swag like us. They went crazy, and they think he finna perform. He said, "I wish I motherfucking would for y'all ungrateful motherfuckers." And then, I'll post it. I got the video of that too. Damn, but it's gonna work. Night, the next night, he went up at the No Cap tour and talked about bombing, and that shit ripped. That shit, it was, it was. He oh, learned so, it. Tim gets I, I got a show with him tonight. I'm gonna be. Uh, Chris Spencer got a show tonight, a pre Easter show, and I'm gonna go over there too. Okay. But uh, yeah, we gonna we gonna link up after yeah. this. Yeah, yeah everyone in the chat saying pretty much cheat code. Like that's a cheat code. That's that's the way to get out of it. We did well, a show I'm going to put up on that show, Ronnie. What that show? I mean, test me afterwards. I mean, I'm going to talk so, to my, I'm gonna I, I don't think we all went around the room on, on the situation. I know CP kind of talked about it. Ronnie just talked. No, uh, don't, that, don't. Go ahead and go, though. I think what he is doing is he's going to be the first to do what it is that he's doing. This is a guy that... John Mayer did this up. already. You said who? John Mayer, Ben did comedy. I didn't hear what you said. No. What was his name? John, John Mayer. John oh, Mayer. Yeah, no, but, he's, he's, he's not a rapper. He was a rapper. He was a very, very popular rapper. And to to go Keep to going, double up. huh? Shut up, nigga. <laughs> to go to be doing stand up, that's so hard. And then to get up on stage at the Barclays, like nigga. And I hey, see man. him live. I Keep going, going Tiff. Keep going right in my mouth. Oh nigga, my up, god! What is that? What's that? Man, I'm about to mute your ass. Him, nigga, I seen him at I seen him at Teddy and Lewis's show. The nigga got something. So. The fact that he's getting up in big stages, taking the L and taking it in stride, that's dope. I, I applaud yeah, yeah. that. And he got the right people around him. So he has an and he, I think the biggest thing he has working for him, he he knows how to control the crowd. Of he course. Control twenty thousand people. So he knows that's just a skill you can't really even teach. And as long as he's as he knows that and he's comfortable with silence, he'll be I think he'll be fine. I think it's dope to watch. Man, okay. that dude that, that dude is a that's an amazing little light skinned nigga. Billy? <laughs> I'm gonna say Billy, I know I like, like Billy Sorrell is a little Billy's an amazing light skinned nigga as well. So <laughs> I would like to say what it is that is on my mind without being this position to interrupt it by the people in the peanut gallery now playing. Um here's here's what I think. 
I feel like it's an immense responsibility that he got on his shoulders. However, I feel like he got to get better writers around him and he got to listen. I, it's either one of the two things. Either he ain't listening or niggas ain't writing no hot shit. Three things Tip got to talk about on stage. Don't nobody give a fuck about all this other shit. You got to address the fact niggas be roasting your wife and get out your feelings with that because that's going to be your kryptonite. Number two, you need to address the fact you fought Floyd Mayweather over love, nigga. <laughs> I, I got to retort. That's why niggas ain't writing for this. Like, nigga, why you ain't told me about how you rolled up on this nigga in Vegas and had to fight this nigga because you love your wife, nigga? That's, every, every woman gone, every woman. Story, nigga. He told me that story, bro. He told, hey, listen, he told, he told a story on my and podcast. Story. And he told a story on my podcast and asked us to take it out because he's using it on stage. He's just starting. He should have started with that because you ain't got you ain't got to be a great you ain't got to be a great showman. Just the fact that Ti is telling you the story, niggas gonna shut the fuck up. When you, when you start going on jokes on on stage telling p jokes and gas station jokes because anybody can tell that. Thanks. Tell me the shit that nobody else. Tell me what it's like, nigga. To 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 get stopped right. with all them goddamn guns. How you bought all them motherfucking guns? You're right. You're right. How you on a how you got caught on the tab? Then nigga address the shit that that everybody want to know. Nigga, it's already known, and it's no disrespect that you turn up with your wife with hoes. So just say it and address it and take the air off the gun. But if you in, if you around tip and he going on stage and you're not encouraging to talk about that shit, you're not setting him up to be great. Cause fuck, you got to take the Hey man, y'all. I, I already know, nigga. If I was tipped, there's no 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 cap. If I was tipped and I walked out on stage, my first three jokes would be how hard niggas be roasting his wife to just turn the room around. Then I would go straight to nigga, man. I love that girl though. Right. Straight up, nigga. I fought the champ, nigga, over her. Hold Ain't on, no who not gonna stop hold listening. On, hold, on. To that. hold on, Billy. You missing the bigger elephant in the room. The bigger elephant in the room is the fact that taking up for your girl right now. It's such a hot topic with what Will did. Yeah, be perfect oh, yeah. But I, I understand what all of y'all are saying. You, 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 I, hey, hey, CP, you know what? Huh? I ain't think about huh? that. You can tie them two together just by huh? saying, I can't even say nothing about what Will Smith did. Nigga, I fought the champ That's over my wife. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know but, 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 nigga, I'm the to tie together. Ronnie, hey, listen, bro, I think Ronnie. we just wrote that nigga best set. Ronnie, go ahead. We just wrote but, but you think I ain't never said all that to him? You think I ain't say exactly what you said? Who who's letting him go on stage with that? But do you think I have not said that to him exactly how you said it or like close to what you said? But what I'm saying is when you do it. Nah. I think Ronnie basically is writing tip jokes because he looks like he is hurt. You know, he got, he, he got, he got feelings and all. He hurt mine. Comedy, you gonna retreat to what's comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You it's it's hard to I get into your say, real, that. It's hard to get into your real vulnerable shit on your fifth week. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's hard to get into that because you got it's it's a whole process getting out of your own ego. A lot, a lot of us, we were we were the, we the nigga. You want the nigga you was five weeks in. You was not true. Gonna be true. Not That's true. But I, I, I'm saying I'm saying he gonna get to that because I say that every time, like, bro, when you get vulnerable, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's a wrap. Because I, you got stories I want to know. Like I seen half of this. All of us grew up with you. We seen half of this shit. We talk, bro. Come on, man. You you know. Hey, Ronnie, bro. hold on. See, I came to my room, my workout room, my Wednesday night workout room. Told the shorty low story on stage. Amazing. Go. I think that's all he got to do is tell stories, bro. But that's the thing, though. The nigga, when listen. Sometimes the lights hit you and you want to do jokes. Listen, I think, <laughs> I think, I think Tim almost respect the craft too much, where he feel like he want to start off like a real nigga would start off. It's like, nigga, I think you know. What I'm saying? Fact. Fact. We all tell him that. We all Fact. say the same thing, like, bro. Yeah. You got to talk about shit, and he will. Like I every will, every comedian bro. that he knows has said the same. Like we like nigga, we want to know the shit. He got a joke he do about his daughter knowing his wife's music that's so funny. This nigga might do it once every three times. I'd be like, bro, mm-hmm. this the shit I want to hear. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the that's what I feel like my role is, and you know, niggas around him. Cause I I was the one who t- telling the man that man, you should try that shit. He was like, man, I think I'm trying to stand up. I like do it. I'm thinking stop me. And, and, and doing a stand up ain't bad. I mean, like, 
I, it's, it's, it's shit that he got that if the comedy world don't bring it to light, I also think we all should roast that nigga just to kind of take the edge off of the daggers because nobody gonna roast him better than Ronnie CP, B. Lou. We roast him every day. Right. Y'all just don't. I mean, see but I'm saying people. the public don't see that all the time. Sometimes so I think everything ain't for the public, bro. Sometimes I'm explaining. I'm explaining. It's like it's like it's like for example. Nobody liked Donald Trump, then he got roasted, and then the nigga became the president. You gotta understand, once them jokes come, you already put yourself in a trial by fire. Like, nigga, what else can they say? And also, like, he's one of the ones. Weaver got roasted, and Snoop got racist. This nigga started hanging out with nigga Martha Stewart, and all type of shit started happening. Because you're embraced, because nigga, we, we accept your celebrityism and your legend. I, I, don't, I don't take nothing from his legend. The nigga, he, he, he gonna fight through it. I'm going to fuck with you as an older nigga in comedy. I'm going to do what the niggas did to me. Hey, nigga, quit tomorrow. You should stop. Because nobody told us. <laughs> quit, nigga, and put out, nigga, Urban Legend 2. Fuck you. <laughs> that nigga, you got an album coming. We got the last, his last album. King's yeah, King. you know, it should be the last called the last stand-up show. That's what it needs to be called. <laughs> but a lot of us, the thing is, a lot of us got, we got good in the dark. So that's that's another That's true. We Everything. got good in the dark. Nobody seen us until two years in or a year in or you yeah. know, we got we got thrown in the fire at certain points, but like I got thrown in the fire at Detroit nigga, every time I went to Detroit, it was like the nigga called me Joe rest in peace, Joe Cole. Come up here Thursday, niggas Wednesday. I gotta be up there Thursday. Then I'm in that motherfucker new comic, gotta go up and then foolish downtown Tony Brown, Kool-Aid come up and do a guest spot before me. And I'm like, nigga, what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, you know what I'm Guess saying? What, like, nigga? And that I had to turn up. Night, I had to I turn had to up. Yeah. Peace time every single night. And you, yep. It made nigga, you, it made you animal. Me, bro. I came in by myself. Ron Tanner came in a year after me. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I was dolo. And like, them niggas do not hold back when, when when a nigga from out of town they press the gas, boy. You be like, nigga. What? Hey man, I ain't gonna lie. To you. Detroit, one of my favorite places to perform at, though, bro. Yeah, the, when you when you get bro. in a room and you start giving your your real self to Detroit, it's a different type of embrace. It's like Baltimore feel away, Chicago feel away, but Detroit feel a whole another way. They yeah. all feel good, but they all feel totally different when you. They just connect with you a different way, bro. I, I got family in Detroit, man. That was one of the first places I was comfortable outside of Atlanta. And them niggas, they, them niggas took care of me. Shout out to Trick Trick. Them niggas always was in the comedy club. They fuck with the comedians heavy. And you better not touch a comedian. You <laughs> know so what I'm saying? Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> you better not touch one of us up there. That's all I'm now, saying. Now, T-Ray, T-Ray Sanders <laughs> did get shot up there, I think. Shout out to Um. Yeah. Shout out to Trick Trick, man. Yeah. What up, though? Now I was gonna ask y'all, man, how do y'all do that, man? Because I'm the more I'm starting to get more and more into stand up, and you four all collectively do this, like you just said, like how you was giving Tip the advice to be more of himself on stage and be vulnerable. How do y'all do that? That's the one thing I'm trying to do is tell less jokes and be more of the vulnerable. Hold on, no, no. Tip has a lot of public things that we all know about, so that's what niggas want to hear about. It ain't just vulnerability yeah, he has vulnerability. <laughs> but all of you guys are vulnerable comedians I, like i've seen all especially with billy like how do you like you, you, it's, it's different it's different from telling jokes and just being your true self on stage and even as a comedian that's been doing this for a minute i'm still trying to find the connector to do that because i do think it's a difference between telling your jokes and being yourself on stage you, I, you know what it was it's what ronnie was talking about you're you you're gonna get to a point when it's not gonna do it for you and yeah, it I, I, well, it's funny, Ronnie saw me at Howard. I was telling jokes. You was I was trying. I was. I was really not even telling jokes, nigga. I was just performing. CP, I, I mm -hmm. nigga. It, it, it was. It was. He was well but, dressed but, and horrible. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga was better than everybody on the show. He had a cameraman, light man, no jokes. Hey, none, <laughs> none. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, bro. Well, he still won. Like he won him. the crowd. The girls was with him off the break. They was with him. It was. Hey, hey, I was but, like, what but, was he? Horrible. Tra hey, triggity trash at Howard that first time. And you know what? You know what I learned? Like, it's going to come a point, though, when you're not going to want to go on stage and tell jokes. You're going to be like, I need to tell somebody this because nobody else is going to understand this. I'm yeah. really fucked up, fool. So when I go on stage, a lot of times I'll be like, I can't tell my mama this. She's not gonna understand. Well, she will, but she not. I need to say this my way. And 
that's where you gonna go put it at. That's gonna be your diary. And I, I, I tell niggas, don't don't walk around with joke books. Walk around with your diary. What's your darkest secret? What's your shit you don't want nobody to know? What's your shit you afraid to express? What's what is your biggest fear? Write it down, nigga, and then tell them. No, ain't nobody finna walk around with that shit in no book. They fuck around, and get robbed and shit. Nigga, look, 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 Hey, hey, what's hey, hey, if you say some shit, you can just go off and ain't nothing you need to do with insecurities. That's the one on your back. You understand? The people behind you. Hey, what's in Billy's book? If you found it, if you found that nigga book, they don't know that I keep all my ponytail hairs. <laughs> and I use them for later on in life when I'm going to go bald. I can make a beard with these. I can make a temper with these. I can do braids with these. Sometimes I brush my teeth. I, sometimes I brush my teeth to an R and B beat in my head and I can just hear it. <laughs> hey, what's in my hey, what's in my diary? Bilu, your mic off. Hey, hey what's in my diary, Bilu? Well, Billy was so serious, like, you just got to keep your deepest, darkest secrets. That's, that's how you really get on. <laughs> do you want it or do you not? Write it down. Not, you not, write it, write it down. Like, 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 like today, I was leaving the grocery store. I seen a man with a nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Billy, no, Billy Diary, be, Billy Diary said, uh, <laughs> today is Tuesday, turtleneck day. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them folks up today. Put all the jury up. <laughs> oh man, I'm sure. They- yeah, but, but look, the next time I saw Billy, that nigga was a damn animal. I was like, what? That ain't the, that ain't the same. It was a couple years later, like two years later. I was like, God damn. So you went somewhere and got motherfucking amazing, nigga. So you know who you know who became one of my hardest critics, and nigga, he don't get no credit. Sleazy. Derek Sleazy Evans was, bro. I had these little chitlin circuit ass shows, and that nigga was so funny and so smart, it was unreal. And he'd be like, "Nah, you ain't do shit today. You don't get the game ball." That nigga would go out there and punish. And then I, my my best friends is damn fool. You 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 gotta go up behind this this nigga a maniac on stage. They can fuck around and be like, I'm gonna do 15. Look up, it's an hour. Kill it. <laughs> Ali. Ali. And everybody know that. Ali, man, that nigga, bruh, the worst to do. I hate going on a, I used to hate going on a road with Ali because I gotta, one, I gotta drive. Two, I gotta listen to this nigga critique my show like a football game all the way to the next city. Nigga, we from Shreveport to Baton Rouge. Yeah, all that bullshit, humping the chair shit. That's that cool nigga shit. I don't do that. You need to talk about, you don't got no brain. So you don't want to tell these people about your real life. So fuck all that, huh? You just gonna then do some buffoonery. When a nigga call you a buffoon, <laughs> a buffoon, nigga. I had to Google what a buffoon looked like. I said, no, you, you know what the fuck a buffoon is, nigga. You was humping them goddamn chairs, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I had to Google what a buffoon is. I don't know what a buffoon is. I don't know what a buffoon is. That's so full of shit, man. Oh God damn. God. Is this, is this, is this? Nah, nigga. Just Google what buffoon is. Man, you gotta say that, say that for them old ass ladies. You be dating, yeah, nigga. Don't start crazy on here. And that's when I first realized, man, I had been bamboozled because very simple, you know, when you start to get into cooking, and, 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 and then you really get into like cooking and really just being there for your. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what you get into? Cooking. You really get into like a lot of cooking, and I do a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me tell you. Hey, hey, let me tell you. Hey, man, you sick, bro. That's why I need half your check. Oh, my God. Today, I want to wear my hair like DJ Quick. I feel like a West Coast rapper also. A day in the life of a player named Quick. I'm just a fucking guy. I don't really care. But break it up the nose. His pants coming down in the party's by seeing and probably getting there from my wallet there, and now I'm soaking. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's shit. hilarious. Yeah, that's funny, man. Shut yeah. your mouth. Yeah, now it's been another episode of Roast This. Oh, Thank you guys for tuning in. Before we get out of here, man, we always let the people know what we got going on. 
for the upcoming week. And with that being said, man, dope boy, let the people know, man. Dope. Man, I'm up in the Bay Area this weekend on Friday with my boy Lewis Belt in Oakland. Um, check my page for the details. I'll be up there telling some jokes. Check me out on I Am Doughboy TV on YouTube. Bye bye. Yep. Hey, Ronnie Jordan, let the people bye know. Bye. Ronnie. <laughs> bye bye. Uh shit, I'm gonna be at uh I'm gonna be in Houston on four twenty at the outside restaurant, man. Six oh one Richmond Ave. Uh Ronnie Jordan and Friends, man. I got Keisha Hunt on the show. Um uh April twenty third. So yeah. fuck me, right? <laughs> No, I I'm April twenty third, I'm gonna be at uh Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton, man. And uh May uh coming up in May, I got a couple schools in Kansas City, man. So y'all check me out on More Than Culture. We got new episodes dropping every Thursday. And uh, go to official blessed com, man, and get you, you know what I'm saying, get right, man. Go buy you some blessed AF. There you go. Billy Sorrell, let the people know, man. Billy. Hey, man, listen. If you ain't already watching season five of Roast Me, God damn it, we are on fire. Um, I'm excited to announce we are back. Did You Miss Me podcast this Thursday. Get ready. We outside. Um, man, new music out now. Just go over there and search Billy on iTunes. You can get some shit popping over there. Uh, Cocaine and Mirrors on YouTube. Make sure you check that out, man. And uh, make sure you follow like and subscribe on B Sorrell's ENT on Patreon. Love y'all, man. There you go. CP, let the people and, know. And my hold home. on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Oh. CP, I would never cut you off. You know that. But it the son. Why, why you look so sad, Billy? He's my only friend. He's my only friend on here. No, no, no. Roast me tomorrow, by the way. Roast me is back. Roast tomorrow. me tomorrow, baby. Yeah. Roast me tomorrow. Yeah. Go ahead, CP. Go ahead, CP. Let the people know, man. Uh, what up, though? Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy CP. Um, shit, if you in LA this week, uh, I'm hosting Crack 'em Up this week uh, at the Comedy Store. Then, uh, let me on the list. The show. Then this Saturday, Ronnie, are you here on Thursday? Uh, I leave Wednesday. I leave tomorrow night, bro. They got a little flight, uh, like a little freight flight for you, like what they did. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. They got a DHL flight for that nigga. Man. I'm pulling up. Yo. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna pull up. Tonight. Gumbo, but no, um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, got an ochre yeah, shipment this, trying to sneak back. This there, Saturday, man. this Saturday I'm gonna be at the uh, Long Beach, um, uh, Long Beach uh, Laugh Factory. Uh, and then tomorrow I make my debut on my first episode of Roast Me back in the classroom. Ooh, oh, no, you finna get, you finna, you finna get spooky for you, nigga. Yeah. Also, hey, we went uh, out last week, bro. Hey, last episode it was hey, what? What? Some highlights in there. Yeah, lit, man. I- I did watch it, nigga. But uh, you know, <laughs> like, uh, it was all right. <laughs> yeah. you know, y'all was cool. Um, <laughs> then uh, also yeah, my spring tour. Red, my spring tour. So I'm I'm back on the road. Uh, when I get done filming, I'm in um Charlotte, uh, May 13th. And then I'm in uh, I'm in Denver, June third. I got more dates coming up, but those are the ones that I just locked in for show. So y'all in those areas, Denver Improv, June third and fourth. Let's sell them out, man. I'm I'm doing four shows. There June third and fourth in Denver. And, yeah. Thirteenth uh, through the fifteenth of uh, May. I'm in Charlotte. Let's go. Hey, that boy. Hey, that boy killing on that show on HBO Max too, man. Tell him about the show, bro. Hey, this nigga CP on that bitch murdering. Hey, show was six months ago, Billy. But thank you. Um, hey, nigga, I ain't seen y'all in a while, so don't don't get mad at me. I just came back outside. Talk shit, man. Yeah, if you haven't already checked out Love Life on HBO Max, man. That shit dope, bro. Good shit. That was the CP, man. Last but not least, man. I'm your host, Brennan Lewis, as well as my other host, man. We are here each and every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Follow me on Instagram, who is Brennan Lewis. Roast Me is live tomorrow, so check that out. We are filming for, oh, uh, we are not, we're not filming. We're, uh, we live tomorrow. Uh, my go. bad, we're not filming. Brandon, we live tomorrow. There you go. What? I forgot to tell people, man, my first hour special is out, man, on Epic's Network. Epic's Network, go, go, go. look, run it up, unprotected. Shout out to Epic's three. Network. There yeah, shout out to Epic's, man, doing that motherfucking thing. Ali Sadiq is on there, too, man. Go, go run up the black people on there. Chanel, Ali, and everybody. So.
Let's go. go. Shout out to Ronnie. Let's Check go. that out. Uh, I'm off this week, man. I'm pulling up locally in L.A. Uh, I'm back on tour next week with Tony Baker in Chicago, Mike. So if you're in Chicago, pull up. After that, it's OKC. Hey. Back rolling, huh? Shout out to my nigga B. Luke pulling up on me in New York, man, when y'all came through the New York spot, man. Yeah, that man, was lit, on, man. man. That's yeah, my dog, that was, man. Come I was, sure, was going to come out and find y'all up there, man. Come on, man. I'm going to pull up, man. I'm going to pull you up. Should, Ronnie, man. You was I out was, there, too? I was out there. I did the Barclays, nigga. Oh, yeah. You should have yeah. climbed the building and found us. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know I got to find some New York pizza. I, I, I found a pizza. Awesome. Hey, that's been another episode of Roast This, and we are out. This was a cool episode. This really show how versatile CPAs and telling jokes on the fly once again. Everyone were able to chime in on different topics that was given and everything like that. Cool episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Steph Biaxo.